Mostly, uh, yeah, we've just uh, traded, sold drugs. These animals beat the crap out of her. This is the most unhappy people have been in a long time. I'll get, I'll get over it. I'll get over it. This morning, thankfully, she was still. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. 1999. It's 99 cents. Did I breed the campfires? That's what I would think, too, because I've just never tried it. It's kind of interesting. Salt, pepper, Cuban, a bit of coriander, a lime juice, cilantro. See, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of coriander. I don't know why. Yeah, sorry, kid. I missed that message about the animals being stuck so too late. The new DLC has killed your steel stockpiling. Went from 10,000 steel to less than 500 over 12 days. 18-hour raids. So many dead tribals. Uh, so, flopping, hopefully you're still here and heard my answer. But if not, no worries. That's bad. Give them away to make friends to drop pod instead. I've done that too, yeah. <laughs> Toxic Fallout, Illyria? We had one Toxic Fallout in this. Not too bad, though. Toxic Fallout. Way to handle an infestation. Move chairs to the area and seal the doors. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that a lot, bees. We used to have um, a tunnel specifically, or a, a bug trap that was a really big area mined out of the mountain. And I had a wooden wall with a couple of wooden floor tiles around it. And then six doors on the way out. And then what we would do is when bugs would spawn in there, we'd throw a Molotov or we'd hit it with an incendiary launcher and then we'd run out through the doors and the bugs just roasted. What's the mod map? Let you build on the sides. I don't have those on the mod list. Um, the modded map is like 1.1 more map sizes or something like that. You have Toxic Fallout, Lyria? Hopefully you have enough food for a while. Uh, what difficulty are you playing on, Illyria? Mm -hmm. You know, after this last research, we could actually destroy our research benches. Because is there anything else we're going to make this run? I don't think so. Not really. We're like buying all that stuff instead. Might do that. Medium, still very new. Oh, I got you. Yeah, no worries. I was just curious. So uh, you should only have to worry about it maximum for about 10 days. So the maximum on default um, Toxic Fallout is like 10.5. So hopefully you have enough food for about 10 days. If it just started, my advice, Illyria, is they change how it works with animals. So if you're playing on the 1.1 patch or newer, or uh, 1.1, you can go out and kill like as many animals as you can right at the beginning of a toxic fallout, especially the bigger stuff, and bring it back. Even if they have the starter uh, tox toxic buildup, you can still butcher them as long as it isn't up to the point where they faint because of it. 9,000 to go. Guy died, had to eat two of your labs. Ugh. Yeah, staying, uh, keeping people inside during the toxic fallout, but initially running out and getting a bunch of meat is a good idea. Uh, we need to get that stocked up. There we go. Okay, um, so we got our plasteel, we got a bit of steel, we got our persona core. What part of the ship can we build now? We need gold build a sensor cluster. We need a little bit more steel for the reactor. We want to build the computer core probably last. Because that takes the persona core. And if it gets destroyed, we're going to have a bad time. Don't you need two structural beams? Or am I misremembering? Which one do you need two of? Bonus, creation, uh, casket. Requires a long power up process. Like the track raiders. That's the void. Can't remember. It's been a while since I did that on the guide video. Just wait for random survivors to take over your place, right? 
Um, yeah, I mean, for someone to wander on, if you hit the continue button, yeah. Zone, we got some decent food. You'll probably be fine. So, wash your hands. Good luck and good night. Thank you, Irish. Have a good night. Don't want to go ahead and start making this. That's going to screw with that power. That's okay. All right. Let's wait on the steel. We need to buy a little bit of gold. Uh, how much gold do we need all together? Tons of chickens joined just prior. Here's open. Don't like having to kill your animals. Ship's bigger than you remember. The good thing about this ship, though, is it's, it's modular, right? So you can build it kind of in a square. How much gold are we going to need? 74 golds. Okay. 74 golds. Not a dog, but a cat. Destroyed their right leg. And they got the crap beat out of them by those donkeys. Holy cow. Researching. Let's go down here. Um, I think I might outlaw these doors. That way if a raid happens, we're not going to fall an animal through here. We need to kill those donkeys, probably. Donkeys can now haul, which is nice. We'd have the animals start bringing these uh, chunks in. So haul those. And we can smelt those down to make steel. These ones will do last because they slow enemies down. <laughs> kill the ponds, give the, feed this to the animals. So. Up 250 steel. Did you wreck dining room? Really? What size dining room are you doing? Are you doing uh, royal stuff in that one too? Like are you going to make it your throne room or anything? 170 impressiveness. 20 by 20. Oh, that was, that was not Katie answering, huh? Um, almost done. 16 by 16. Stack that marble art. Uh, the new carpet is good for that too. I mean, I know you're using mods, but the new carpet seems really good for raising the wealth in a room. And a lot of wealth in the carpet. Uh, Santa Claus, trade with these fine people. I don't know if they're fine or not. We'll find out. Bulk goods. So how much gold did I say we needed? 75 or something. How did you get the core? We went and attacked a camp for it earlier today, Eternal. Uh, we had the quest that there was a Persona core somewhere for like 19 days. And we uh, we took three people over there and we killed them and took, took the core. 74? Yeah, thank you. They don't have gold. They don't have any gold. Sell them the bear meats, these berries. We got a lot of extra kim fuel, so probably go ahead and sell. We got it for free. Pack of wool, synth thread. We'll sell over here. Bird skin, light leather, bear skin. We're at eight oh five. Uh, smoke leaf is going to overkill you. So is thermo fur. Uh, oh, I forgot to install the gastro analyzer on uh, Kaz. I keep forgetting that. Sell the stuff that's ratty apparel. Almost tattered. We're not using dusters anymore either. No dusters. We we'll probably sell some of our extra pants also. Let's just take it up room right now. It's going to be a while before we need them. We're over now, though, so I'm going to have to buy stuff. Uh, if I want to sell this much to them. I don't think I will. I think we'll just pull back on some bear meat. There we go. Take all the money. Bear's throne. Rack dining. Rack. Uh, up to raid someone else's base or to another map. Is it based around this size? 
Uh, it was bigger. It was bigger. So I, I wasn't sure because I've never used this mod for the tiny maps, but it was probably like a 200 by 200 Knowles. The one we attacked. Hi to Knowles, welcome back. But these extra maps that we've gone to have been 50 by 50. I think the enemy bases, uh, though, are just are based on something different. Buy components. Eh. Uh, do they have advanced components, actually? How many components do we have? Um, we just look in here. They do not have advanced components. We have eight. We're going to need more of those. Don't have enough money for that. Uh, unless we sell... So we might end up needing to make some of our own. I think we're just going to buy, though. We'll just buy. Let's take a look. I don't know. Because we need to repair stuff over time as well, which is where the problem's going to come in. All right, we'll buy some weather here, um, just in case. So we're not just waiting on it. Of course, we can always call in traders, so it's not like a huge deal. But... Hey, mage. How's it going tonight, mage? Char, welcome in. Hi, you, Char. More than you expected. Going well. I also need to get one more ranged weapon sometime. That time for you. Good luck. Good night. Wash hands. Thank you, beast. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, let's go ahead and get that smelted down. Oh, tree's already on it. On top of it. How goes the modding mage? Uh, we'll bring these ones next. We need to leave this chunk and this chunk so they don't use them as cover, but these ones are not in our actual kill area. So it'll be all right. All right. It's still interesting that we only made one hydroponic basin. Kind of cool to know how much that one hydroponic basin has put out of rice. Cargo pods at the other map again. There's a bunch of milk for you, wild deer. Enjoy. Tyron goes far. I didn't see or get here as early as you wanted to. Oh, yeah. No worries, Char. It's going pretty well. We've had a lot of raids tonight, but no deaths. We've lost some uh, some digits. Maybe a leg. An ear or something. Let's learn more about. But you've been busy. You think you could make a mod that modifies the name of pawns? Like the auto names them or? That changes the name when they like wander in instead of having to change it yourself or? Like auto name? I don't know. Visitors. They actually will trade something too. It's usually not very much for visitors, but might as well check it out. Macy. Named after corn, no doubt. Yeah, they're not selling like anything. Uh, but they have 245 silver, so we can sell a couple pants or something to them. While they're here. Get that little bit of silver from them. <clears throat> auto neighbor for streamers that can take from their queue and auto rename colonists for them how did it pull from the channel list though like unfortunately right now twitch doesn't allow anything that checks the um the queue for their channel points that'd be awesome though that'd be awesome Mink is fully healed. 
Congratulations, Mink. Okay, Kaz, I'm finally going to do this surgery. Kaz, let's see. Operation. Hopefully this goes well. Uh, install the gastro analyzer nose. Wait, doesn't it reduce her beauty? I can't remember if that one does. I don't, I don't think so, right? The minus four beauty is just the uh, on the ground on the floor, I think. Yeah, it doesn't affect their appearance. That's right. I didn't think so, but I want to double check before I butchered Kaz's face or something. Okay, so Kaz, get to the hospital bed. That's not really a hospital bed. Who's our best doctor? Well, it's Raven God. Raven God, would you like to perform surgery on Kaz? Well, I don't care if he wants you or not. You're doing it. I think it'd be possible. How... I mean, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any way to check position in channel points, the Twitch-based channel points list, unless you're the streamer. How would you let a user check it? Because that would help a lot. Even outside, not even including mods, but siege could happen with mortars on this map. We did, we had a siege of mortars. They built two mortars right up here, but we managed to defeat them before they shot any mortars. But they did build them. Sterile somehow. Uh, you know what, trees? I'm gonna put you on secondary for wardening. Let's have you clean if you're not crafting anything. Kaz, your surgery was a success. You can now cook 5% faster. Congratulations. Cutting for it because it could be possible for Twitch to write to a text file or something. The mod could read. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It doesn't seem like there's anything like that with, with Twitch at the moment, the write to text thing, where it checks the channel point queue. I don't know. I hope they add something like that. So that's kind of how I did it with the bot in that queue. But on the Twitch side, it doesn't seem like they have anything like that implemented yet. What to do to get that 170 impressiveness? Just keep putting gold tiles in there until you hit it. I don't know. But I feel that it has made it somewhat easier. It's made some things easier, some things harder, yeah. You're up to 164. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess you could start putting in gold tile. That's always my kind of cop out when I'm doing like test maps and stuff to get to a certain impressiveness level. It's like, just keep putting in a single gold tile until you hit it. Make it bigger. Some things have been easier, Cog. Um, I've kept my wealth really low too, which has helped with the raids and stuff. And the hard part is just having to trade for so many things and raids being right on top of you all the time as soon as they hit. The easy thing is no one has to go very far away from their job. Uh, everyone's always kind of happy because they're not having to travel very much. I think part of that's due to being able to implement this system though. This system has allowed us to break the day into basically two days, two 12 hour days. So people are always well rested and always fully recreated. Um, and they get the mood buff for being comfortable twice a day. So that's helped a lot. I might try to implement something like this to some of my workers, even on normal sized maps after this. It's weighted towards your lowest stat, which is more often cleanliness in practice. It's back size, gotcha. Switch able to connect to Discord with, that, with scripts. I mean, in what capacity? With the channel points? It doesn't seem so. I was talking to the people at Twitch in a meeting, what, two months ago? A month ago? About channel points? And telling them that we need more control over channel points on Twitch's end. And for viewers to be able to check and all this. And they're like, that's a really interesting idea. We'll make note of that. But no, it's not possible at the moment. I haven't heard anything else. 
Hey hippies, welcome back. How's it going, hippies? Have you gotten any uh, extra or any more Rim World time in? I'm okay with the work running. <laughs> All right, uh, we're back up to 726 steel. Okay. Okay, I think we start building soon. How is Tiny Base still working? I don't know. We might win tonight or tomorrow, Sneaky. I do a Sneaky Cat. Welcome back. Everything on that? We still need an extra gun. I'm going to delete that. We don't get those notifications. We still need two extra guns, right? Or is it just one? Just one. We don't have a ton of money left. I think we will call in a uh, arms dealer to see if we can just buy an assault rifle for trees. And maybe one for these two. Uh, one of them's melee, right? Yeah, one of them's melee. All right, let's do that. All right, uh, call it in combat supplier. Well, we going all right, you guess? No, I was not expecting this to go on this long. I thought we would probably lose in like maybe one or two streams and then I go back to normal playthroughs, but no, it's it's continuing. But if we win or lose, we'll go back to a normal playthrough after this. So whatever happens to the, on this map, it'll be followed by a normal map afterwards. We'll probably do Tribal, Merciless, Randy, or Cassandra. Uh, random map after this. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> I like playing as tribal. The random map thing might be a pain depending on what it hits. Time prisoners all in one room. Uh, the downside is that it's a barracks. So unless it's impressive, they're going to have a mood debuff for that. And it's going to increase the rate of them having a prison breakout. So they're going to be more unhappy because of barracks. And uh, depending on the quality. And they also are going to have breakouts more often. Uh, the benefit of having them in multiple is less space, less wealth. You can tend to them more easily at the same time. Fairs watch. Don't often catch them. Yeah, so it seems like we'll be starting a new playthrough tonight or tomorrow, one way or another. One way or another. I'm going to flip this back on so we can check if that steel's done here yet. Almost. One tile left for each of them. We get Ash in for most prison barracks. Yeah, I like nutrient paste in general, especially on crash landed starts when you only have three people. Instead of having someone have to cook for half or more of their life. Wow, that happened again. It seems strange. Every time we call for a ally to bring us something, we get a ship instead. The Penguin Consortium. Nutrient paste is only like, what, minus three? And it's the best um, calories per uh, food put, put in. Get the most bang for your buck as far as work to calories ago. By quite a bit. All right. Uh, I don't really have the weapons we want. Uh, oh, well. We already called for another group to to come, so hopefully the next group brings what we want. We'll go ahead and sell them some drugs, though. It's out the left wall and both escape super quick. I don't know. Yeah, we were talking about that when I first put this up. That would be kind of interesting. I think they'll always go after the door because the door, just like sappers, the door is the weakest spot here, especially made out of wood. But it would be interesting. Wheels. 
Yeah, and you don't have to do the work to make them. So it's so efficient uh, as far as calories per work put in because all you have to do is carry it to the hoppers, you know? So it's, it's, it's really awesome. And then you don't have to have people chained to a stove for most of their life. Then you can just make your dining room or rec room a higher quality to kind of overcome that minus three. You can always convert over to meals later on if you want, but I do like nutrient paste starts quite a bit with crash landed. No food poisoning. Yeah, another big, big draw of it. Yeah, that's the only downside. The minus three mood and then if you don't, if your power goes out for an extended amount of time or any amount of time, uh, it, it is especially a problem with no pause because with pausing, you can actually do something that's kind of exploity. You can have someone that's hungry and go get a nutrient paste meal and then you can pause it and then you can um, restrict the meal that they dropped there or something like that. You can have them drop the meal and they'll actually immediately pick another one up from the processor without it unpausing. And you can keep doing that until they make a stack of them. And then you can have them take that stack to the freezer and save extra nutrient paste meals that way. But it's kind of weird to do. And it doesn't seem you can do it very easily or as easily with no pause because they will pick them right back up. Another combat supplier ship. What the crap? I should just stop calling allies to trade. Every time I do, we end up getting trade sh ships instead. right from the pace machine so I usually do yeah like I said it's, it's easier to do it I'm sure you could with no pause but you can do it even while pause which is crazy he did it with just drafting gotcha um let's see we made some more smoke leaf chain shotgun I might buy that put it on our trigger happy person Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll grab for now. Uh, trigger happy trees. There you go, trees. Get your chain shotgun. See part of it. Once you undraft, pawns will always grab a pace wheel. It's, it's really weird that you can do it while pause, though. I always thought that was like a strange, like, things don't interact in the game when they're paused. They're not supposed to. But with a nutrient paste dispenser, you could do that trick while paused. It would it would immediately do it without unpausing. It was very weird. I haven't tried that since 1.1. I wonder if, it, if they fixed that at all. So I know they fixed some small things like that, but that were unlisted. Yeah, it's weird, yeah. All right. So. Let's knock a drive almost done. Question is, are we going to have enough money to buy the, uh, the remaining parts? Maybe not. Maybe not. We need a lot more drugs. We should probably switch over to Psychite T now that we're going to have more room. In fact, when we rip down our research benches, we could probably switch to Psychite T or something like that. And, uh, use the materials from these to make the drug benches. Oh, thank you, Kitty. We played Ark's Dungeon. Maybe they added. We should check for sure. No, not yet, Sid. Not yet. Dark Dungeon 2 comes out. That'll be our main game for a really long time. And when we get more Dark Dungeon 2 news, I'll probably end up doing one additional playthrough of Dark Dungeon. Well, I think streaming Dark Dungeon for, you know, 2100 hours. Probably good for now. Oh my God, we have a pregnant donkey. what the next thing on our list is um let's see 7.5 
Psychoid, let's take a look at that. Nine days. Hmm. 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 Got to have another person. We're going to need a couple more beds sometime. I think after the next raid, we'll go get the wood and make, uh, make a few beds. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.